from the shores of Cyprus to long forgotten vessels. These are 10 incredible abandoned ships. Number 10, Rio, Russia. On December 12, 2018, the boat carrier Rio contacted port authorities with a distress message. They needed immediate help to avoid grounding. Unfortunately for them, tugboats did not arrive on time. The ship grounded on the southern coast of Novorossiysk Bay due to heavy seas and strong winds. As of right now, there are no signs of the Rio moving anywhere. Hopefully the ship does not get completely destroyed by the sea and survives to transport another day. Or maybe it just stays there and becomes an urban explorer's dream. Number 9. MV Demetrios II, Cyprus. MV Demetrios II was a cargo ship that enjoyed the high seas for decades. Built in 1964, the ship operated until its eventual grounding in 1998, March 23rd to be exact. Loaded up with lumber from Greece and headed to Syria, the MV Demetrios II ran aground off the coast of Cyprus, near the Paphos Lighthouse. At first, it was seen as a very bad accident for the unfortunate crew of eight. Later on, it was discovered that the Greek captain and the Pakistani first officer had forged papers. They were deemed not competent enough to operate the ship, heavy seas or not. There's another ship that ran aground off the shores of Cyprus, the photogenic Edro 3. The ship ran aground near Pegea. As always, rough seas and bad weather were blamed for the wreck. There was no salvage operations attempted, but the ship was emptied of all cargo, fuel and oil. Articles state that it is now forbidden to visit the ship because it's deemed too dangerous, which means at some point people were allowed to explore it. Which must have been a pretty cool experience, don't you think? Number 8. Sri Lanka Glory, Sri Lanka. Can you believe this shipwreck only happened not even a year ago? The Sri Lanka Glory was pushed ashore by a storm in July of 2019. Due to bad weather, the ship was anchored near the shore. Unfortunately, it still drifted into the unforgiving rocky coastline. The nine crew members on board made it out safely thanks to the Sri Lankan Navy. There are no plans to rescue the ship and it will most likely remain here until it completely falls apart. Peace by rusted peace. And since we're down here, might as well talk about the incredible MV Fara 3. Built in 1981, this general cargo ship suffered engine failure in December of 2006. While waiting for help, the ship was apparently boarded by militant rebel factions, which ordered the captain to raise the anchor. As you can see, that was not the best idea in the world. The drifting ship ran aground, and all 14,000 tons of rice that it carried kind of disappeared. In 2009, the Sri Lanka army liberated the grounded ship which was now being used as an operational center by the rebels. Number 7. SS Maheno, Australia The SS Maheno might be the oldest ship we look at today. Built in 1905, the ocean liner traveled all around the Tasman Sea until it was repurposed as a naval hospital ship during World War I. Now called the His Majesty's New Zealand Hospital Ship No. 1, it washed ashore due to a cyclone in 1935. Since then, it has become a popular tourist attraction, and the hull has somehow remained ashore all those years. Not for long though. You can see the fast deterioration of the wreck between 2007 and 2013. Number 6. MV Salem Express, Egypt. The Salem Express was a car and passenger ferry that operated between the countries of Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Constructed in 1964, the ship changed a few owners before it made its way to Egypt. In the early hours of December 17, 1991, the ship collided with a reef close to the Egyptian coast. The damage was catastrophic and the ship sank within minutes. The official figures say 470 perished in the wreck, but some estimate that it was closer to 690. Since then, the shipwreck has become a popular spot for scuba divers, who can easily enter the ship from many points. Only a hundred feet below the sea, you can explore the ship and its cargo of cars and luggage, which are pretty much undisturbed. Number 5. MV Golden Ray, Georgia State 
Since September 2019, the car carrier MV Golden Ray has been laying on her side in shallow water near the port of Brunswick in Georgia State. The ship capsized shortly after departing the port. All 23 crewmen were rescued while the ship started to list. Four crew members went missing but were eventually found safe and sound by the US Coast Guard. The ship was filled with mostly Kia and Hyundai cars headed to the Middle East, and it is believed the incident was related to loss of stability due to improper cargo stowage and incorrect water ballasting. A really dangerous mix. By October, it was decided that the MV Golden Ray was a total loss and the ship would be cut up in place and scrapped. If you want to see this behemoth in the water, better do it soon. Number 4. Flota America, Namibia. The Namibian coast is no stranger to shipwrecks. It is an extremely dangerous part of the ocean that has sealed the faith of many ships. Such is the story of Frota America, a Brazilian transport ship that was decommissioned and being towed to the scrappers. Unfortunately, the ship disconnected from its tow and ran aground. It's still unclear if this ship will ever be removed from the coast, but locals are worried it might pollute one of the more pristine coastlines in Namibia. Number 3. John B. Cattle, New York State Even though the ship would not be considered abandoned, I just had to include it because of this unbelievable photo. Formerly known as the YO-140, this water tanker wrecked on Staten Island due to Hurricane Sandy. It's not every day you see a grounded ship with the New York skyline in the background. The ship was originally built as an oil tanker in 1941. However, there's some mystery behind the name. There's no clear reason why it was named John B. Cattle, except for the small cattle dry dock and repair company, which has been operating since 1903. But the link between the two is... non-existent. Anyway, in 1942, the ship was acquired by the US Navy. After that, it jumped through different owners. In 2009, the ship was sold to Nigerian interests, but was prevented from sailing by the US Coast Guard. After the Hurricane Sandy grounding, a court declared the vessel abandoned and eventually the ship was sold at auction. The new owners have decided to dismantle and scrap her. Number 2. The Galaxy Cruise Ship Hotel, Thailand Welcome to Thailand, where everything is possible. I can't seem to find much information about this now abandoned hotel, but I believe it was called the Galaxy Hotel. Located on the island of Koh Chang, this incredible hotel has seen better days. It belonged to a now defunct resort which had properties all over the island. Surprisingly, no one has bothered to restore this one-of-a-kind hotel. I actually found this listing for the resort, showing only three stars. You can somehow still book a room here. It looks like the resort was boat themed, with smaller vessels available for booking as well. What do you think? Would you have taken a vacation here? Number 1. MV Corleria, Scotland Finally, we take a look at the wreck of MV Coleria, which met its fate in August of 2019. The fishing vessel, which had 15 tons of fish on board, somehow crashed in ideal conditions during the night. In the end, it seems like the eagerness to return to shore as quickly as possible led to the ship wrecking. Anyway, after several attempts to refloat the vessel, the situation became dire. Due to increasingly bad weather, the ship broke up and sank on the rocky shores. I wonder what happened to all the fish? Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.